What's up, y'all? Um, I know it's like been a long time. Probably because my motherfucking camera was acting the fuck up. So it's been like a lot going on with me. Um, I reconnected with my father like last week sometime. Uh, I needed to get to my transcript from my high school and they wouldn't take my, um, wouldn't take my credit card over the phone. So I called my sister. I'm like, will you go and do it? She's like, I'm at work, but I'm going to get it taken care of for you. So at the end of the, what she did was, who the fuck is this? She, um, she went and called my father. I had my father go up there and do it. So when I called, um, up to the phone, I'm like, did you get it? And she's like, yeah, we got it, we got it. Um, your dad. I'm like, my father. She's like, yeah, your dad. The bitch was sounding all happy. I know why she was happy. She, you're not slick. So then, um, I called him. I, I remember I had his number when I was down there before. And, um, I just said thank you, you know, and we had like a really emotional conversation because I told him, I'm like, you know, all the stuff that I went through, I probably wouldn't have to even go through had you been there and you weren't. So that kind of bothered me. And he, you know, he said he was sorry. He can't um, escape the past and he just can only move forward. And whatever I need, you know, he'll be there. Um, it's just the little things, you know, that meant a lot to me. It, it meant, because I, I, I had given up. I said, fuck it out. I just won't call him. I don't have shit to say to him. I don't need to talk to him. So at the end of the day, I was like, okay with that. <laughs> then um, I go and sign up for school. Um, today, actually, because my transcripts and all that shit came. Um, thank you to everybody who helped me get to this point. As far as like me going to school, um, if I needed something taken care of, they were there. Like, um, oh, It was just like, I felt so amazing. It's, I don't think it even hit me. So I'm actually going to school right now. I, it probably won't hit me until I get ready to walk into the building. Um, but I've always loved Aveda products. I've always loved Aveda, period. It just had a certain something that it just, it was just me. Like, I felt like I belonged there. So it's such a shame. I always say it, it's like a really horrible, horrible tragedy that it took for me um, this long to realize what the fuck I wanted to do. But again, you know, things happen when they're supposed to because I don't think at 25 or 24, um, in my 20s, I probably would not have been able to sit still long enough to go through what I was going through as far as like my schooling and stuff. But now I'm so thankful and so blessed that I am at a point in my life to where I am able to be a better person and to love me because I, I don't depend on love from an entity or a community. I, I, I love myself enough to know to say, hey, you know, every, it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to want to move forward and not care. And at the end of the day, I'm okay with that. Um, am I going to, do I have any regrets about any decision that I'm making or I'm making in my future or I may? Absolutely not. Everything is a learning experience for me. I do believe that when you go through something, you know, you're supposed to go through that to get to the next level in your life. I, I went through a stage where I thought that you could never ever have ever told me from that I would want to ever go back to being a boy. Um, I just want to clear something up. I am not mentally deranged. I just did not want to be an old ass bitch running around here, horrible, bitter, you know. And as I always say, a lot of the most beautiful and passable girls are the ones who are the most miserable. I don't want to live like that anymore. I think the most troubling part of this to me is I have to learn to live my life over again. It's almost like I, I go through puberty. Um, so I'm waking up and I'm having different feelings. I'm fi it's just it's a lot that I have to deal with. But you know, at the end of the day, the outcome I know it's gonna be much more greater than it was when I did go actually go through puberty. You know, I think the people's expression, or, or even with every I should say with every ten. With every 10 negative responses I get, I get two that is um, genuine and that is really on my side. Not that I give a fuck about who is on my side or who's not, because at the end of the day, bitch, I pay bills up in here. I make sure that I'm okay. I don't need, no, I don't be bothered, because I'm good. I don't give a fuck what nobody has to say. But on another note, <laughs> I did this prelim. I didn't do the prelim. I, um, you know, I'm a former at the prelim. So, me and the one of the prelim owners, Chuck, we don't get along. We've never gotten along. I cursed that fat bitch 
out every chance I get, I can't stand him. So that bitch come hand me the CD like two weeks before the pageant to tell me to learn the song. So, you know, I it takes a special gospel song for me to love it. So Kirk Franklin did this song about um, the people over in Haiti. He wants me to learn it. So during rehearsal, I had the song. You know, I had all, all my words. I get there and at the club, you know, I get to drinking. I, you know, I, I wasn't really drinking because I only had like one and a half drink. So I'm getting ready to go on stage. And we are singing. I'm in the back, like, tripping the fuck out with Javon. Because Javon Braxton, have you ever get a chance to meet Javon? Oh, that motherfucker is crazy. Like, I, I absolutely adore him because he is so fucking real. He's not um, sugar-coated. He is not, um, he's not made up to be something that he's not. He's just himself, and that is what I love about him. He don't, it's, he, he's, it's, he's, like, unexplainable. Like, he's, like, so fucking cool. But we were on stage, and he didn't know this. He didn't rehearse with us, so I don't think he got the CD right. So we get in the back. Um, he stays in the back the whole entire time. So it was him. He was in the middle. I was on one side, and Tanisha was on the other side. Victoria was in the front, and the two, Sion and Jeffrey, I was in the front with her. So got my fire. I'm supposed to walk up. I sang my first part. Throughout the rest of the song, I didn't even know, like, I forgot all the words. So we're sitting there. And comes out my part, everybody do like this. They look at her. I say, "Well, bitch, I just start smiling." I say, <laughs> "Like after don't that bitch dock my envelope." But I was like, "Don't ever call to have me come back to this shit again," because I was upset anyway, and I wasn't the only one who didn't know the song. Cause everybody fucked it up. It was just like crazy. But it was like I said, it's a learning experience. I just cannot stand Chuck. I thought I should put that out there. You know, I did go to the chaparral last night. Um, me and my me and my auntie Mario made up. Um, I don't even think we were ever like into it. I just think that Mario is a Leo and I'm a Gemini and both of us have very strong personalities, honey. And at the end of the day, we just like that. We are just very like that. And we've always, that's just our, been our relationship, you know? But I love him to death. And nobody better not ever fuck with him because it'll be on. Um, Cream. Bitch, I got full at Cream. No, I actually got full at Chaparral because people would just buy me drinks. The bartender, they love me. They're like, oh, come on, you look so good. Come on, bitch. And I just got full. I don't know how the fuck I made it to where I was going. I don't know how I could made it from out of the Chaparral back to cream, back to Chuck. It was just like too much. But, bitch, I felt stunning. I felt stunning. I have never received so much love in one bill. Yes, I have. Yes, I did. But, bitch, I just felt really good. I am moving on to the next level in my life, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for helping me get to this point. There is, like, really nothing else I can say other than if you have any questions, comments, concerns, inboxes. Before I go, I'm going to tell you what I told my promoter. He told me that, um, I ain't going to tell you which promoter it was. He, he was just telling me, he's like, um, you're not doing your part, blah, skip, boo, boo, you need to do this, do that. So... I told him, I, he said, people are saying that. I, I sent him a text message back. I said, at the end of the day, and I'm just going to read you what um, I read him, because baby, he had to be heated. And when I sent it off, I was laughing, because I was like, bitch, did you really just send that to that man? But honey, he be trying it. He like, oh, I said, at the end of the day, I could care less what people quote unquote think. I'm not blank, and I don't do things, and I do things my way. If you or people have a problem with that, tell it to Jesus, because I don't give a <laughs> I said, tell it to Jesus. And honey, and I looked at the text message and I sent it, and he sent it back. He was like, oh, no. You know, he was heated because he started saying, well, this is not people. This is me. It was just like a whole mess. But I, I, everything is like I'm not stressed out anymore. The one thing I really want to do is to quit smoking. I really, really need to quit smoking because that shit is wearing me the fuck out. Um, you guys have a good night. If y'all got something to say, inbox it, you know. Tell me, whatever. Give me some shit to talk about. I'm going to try to document my process as I go along, too. I love you guys. Have a good night.